But man, the the undead brawl seems pretty fun, especially with this character. Even with the other character, it's fun. It's just more fun in team play. Oh. Didn't even wait for me to lay down. What an asshole. But this has just been a fun stream overall, so hey. Oh, there is a fog door. Little did you know it. I guess we have to sit here and wait. That's pretty funny. There's no fog door in the actual game. No matter what you do, but there is in co-op. I'm pretty sure there's not even a fog door during the fight. Like, up here. If the only one who could see this fog door is a uh, co-op person, I guess. Seems like his approach is not too bright. It's attacking the dogs while the dude can fight him. So, incoming wolf in a second. Seems like we'll be fine, realistically. Wolf doesn't have that much health. It's just a matter of not getting one shot. Presumably. Um, can't really expect to hit him while he's moving. of the hay on this guy. Didn't realize. It's definitely... Hey. The best aim out other than lay down. Thankfully, there's no soul memory, so I'm not going to push me myself out of whatever bracket I'm in for brawling, which seems like kind of an easy bracket. <laughs> uh, I guess the very high level bracket is more build ridden and so on, but low level seemed like practically everyone had a different build except for the one guy who was using an onyx blade, a pirate man, so <laughs> flame, who would, who would ever think to use that approach? Whoa. Dangerous. Mm. So my theory is in four player go up, this boss might be dangerous. In two player probably not so much. Just if the wolf has enough health. But I guess you're always gonna be able to beat the grave tender before then, so that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> oh. And you do get two icons next to your name if you do duel. Oh man. Amazing, but I kind of don't really care. <laughs> I might eventually do it just for like some ghetto icon And it'll only take like five seconds because all I have to do is check a couple of guys bed vestiges And for the person to not be very observant Victory <laughs> This definitely seems way more efficient in terms of soul gain uh, on pretty much every level like that was One minute 15 second fight or something Probably gonna do like one or two sessions of normal co op. And I'll try out Chaos Bed Vestige's warmth with uh, a ton of blue ash and ashes. That should theoretically work okay. Ooh, people are invading. Whoa. Shocking. For some reason the fog door looked really interesting there. It's definitely possible for the host to die before you can get there. I mean, it's hard to do, because all you gotta do is run away, but... 
I would be surprised if that happened, but uh, especially in like New Game Plus 7 or something, if people wanted to go up and... Which this game doesn't seem particularly difficult, um, super high new games, so I bet there are a fair amount of people up there. Hey, that guy's using my weapon. Jack has my 20 axes. Who said he's using my Okay, so I guess this will put my theory to the test. So the Grave Tender is definitely holding up a lot better than he was. Now it's just a matter of whether we can kill the wolf before he starts to inquisition. Carbazar is the uh, the actual host. It's worth noting. Since people like wearing that ring a lot. Probably do three more of those and then some normal normal co op for a little while, just from the starting bonfire. But I do have to remember to go back to the fire link to change my Estes distribution. Why is this weapon so damn popular? <laughs> I don't get it. Maybe it's the most viable spear in the game or something? Or a pseudo spear? Also, it doesn't make much sense for him to be standing right here. Why don't you just go down? Nobody knows. It's kind of cool that you can see this little red flame. Gradually fading in the distance. One day I'll make it over to the boss. Says the don't heal approach. We're doomed. 
I think the wolf can probably one shot him, I guess. At least if he doesn't heal. It does seem like fighting him in the uh, cylinder is much better. Because they can't easily get you twice in one big swirly attack. Why did the wolf or why did Roy trust her? That was weird. The Grim Tender. Hardest boss ever. So, yeah, apparently this weapon became super popular at some point. <laughs> Seen at least like six people with it today. So two more and then we'll do a normal run and then end the stream with some 3v3, three three. probably like 3 or 4 matches. It doesn't seem like 3v3 three three could possibly go wrong, or go poorly, unless my team was utterly terrible. Uh, and the other team is like obviously a pretty bad, that's the only situation. But if it's just a balanced match, all I have to do is chuck fireballs and for them not to dodge it, and then they die. Mm -hmm. Which if uh, the other character. If the other person is completely off the screen, it's kind of hard to know when to dodge if you're fighting somebody already. Ah. Crab battle. They were pretty even, so I guess we should give both sides a little. There we go. Uh, the second little claw smash probably wouldn't have killed me. Yeah, a heal. Except it was a pathetic heal that didn't even heal that much. But whatever. Is he gonna climb the ladder? <laughs> also, I wonder if the whole area is locked off. I bet you it probably. I bet you the entire DLC is accessible, so. He was like, I'm gonna climb the ladder and then we'll explore it later. This could just go on forever. Oh, I'm gonna be wasting pyros. Oh, I missed. I didn't miss, but I only hit with the corona. Alright, let's save some Estes. Let these guys fight the trees. I think the player that's first on the list, if they're not on the screen, is automatically the host, so this should be the host, I assume. Or you could just look at the icon when you join, but it's much too difficult. Is he going for the ladder? It's ladder time. Oh man, this is exciting. I don't think they made it big enough. <laughs> Hold on. And there's another one that's even taller at the top. I'm assuming they're just gonna come back down, so there's not really that much reason to follow them. But we can do in the scenery. That's it. It's beautiful.
should be able to tell from here whether they're gonna keep progressing or not. It's the close of despair. Don't even think about trying to escape. Bell number three. I guess that's why you would put a summon sign over here. <laughs> Just so you, you could avoid the ladder. mistakes whatsoever. That hey. pretty hard, apparently. <laughs> uh, I forget if it's one or two more. If they do the latter, it's definitely one more. If it's just a regular fight, then probably two more. This is probably the easiest fight to do co-op in the game. No, uh... Osiris is probably a little bit easier still, but it seems pretty easy to go up. I don't think it's necessarily utterly trivial single player, but it probably just starts being hard on high new game pluses. Before then, not too much. But hey, the other boss is easily the best fight in the game, so whatever. I mean, who would not? want to lie about this obvious illusory wall. It's not an illusory wall. Looks like 
It's gotta be the last one, unless they already did the ladder. I don't know where the host is. Okay. Well, let's convince the host to go over here. We like. I don't want to go that way. Okay. Separate option. I guess I could probably get like the golden brawl icon or whatever the top one is on this character. This is pretty easy to kill people. If you're level 99 anyway. And they're busy fighting somebody else. I was pressing right on the analog stick, but it prioritized the other two dogs. That was some mighty efficient dog coming down. Pressing. Good job, self and others. I don't know if you thought it wasn't fair versus uh, Frida. <laughs> Even less fair against this guy. This is probably on their game plus, he's got a little health. The wolf. And that's the end of the phantom. No, he lives. The wolf is so merciful. I think this wolf is a shitload harder than, than Sip was. There's a lot of people. For some reason that died to Sip a shitload in, in Dark Souls, and Sip is like the easiest fight in the game by a wide margin. But, uh... But it should be relatively obvious how much better this fight is than that one. Guess we're gonna make the argument of best wolf, and this guy wins pretty easily. Best doge. Number one doge. Same guy. <laughs> I guess that's the same guy. Could be the, another dude because we are, we won with every other host. Or it could be somebody who was uh, also a co-op phantom. That's kind of crazy. If it's the same guy. Okay, I guess he would have loaded in faster. Yes. Best game of all time. Oh, that's the, the weapon. 
click it. There's no spell that does that. It's not in this game. There's a lot of bosses that do that. Oh, killed my furball. Also probably gave more time for the dark to swim in too. Never backstab this guy ever too. Also don't die. <laughs> die to him. Hopefully the dog even gets over here. This the one not looking so hot. I'm probably gonna lose. I'll try to kill the dog, I suppose. The dog is much more dangerous. Uh, Royal Red Authority is definitely harder than this guy, but it's kind of because it's like a gimmick fight like Hyper Demon, so, meh. As far as the dog bosses go, fantastic lineage of dog bosses in the Soul Series. No dog boss in uh, Demon Souls, but Perfect Um. Do we count um, Vicar Amelia as a dog? Vicar Amelia is one of the best fights in the entire series, and by a very wide margin, probably top three. But she seems more like a deer than a dog, so I think that's a deer fight. She has somewhat dog like tendencies, but it's mostly like clubbing attacks and stuff. Co-op Royal Red Authority is easier than this guy or not. Hard to say. I should have done that much. Or Dark Souls 2 co Could always go try that out. Just to see. I think put uh, Dark Souls 1 on PS4. They watch it. Looked like the host died too. So. That's fine. Uh, didn't matter. <laughs> no shame. If they put Dark Souls like remastered on PS4, then could have a compilation co-op video. Sif, <laughs> Royal Red Authority, and this guy, Grave Tender. Maximum dog co-op. At this point, we're just going until we win one more, same as we did with Freed. But, eh, it's been more engaging lately. The first several were very easy, but beyond that, not so much. When will there be another smelter boss where the, the boss wins like 80% of the time? <laughs> At least back in the day. Ancient Dragon, of course, the, the boss wins like 99% of the time, but that's because Ancient Dragon is almost impossible in co-op. Oh, the mystique of Dark Lurker. That's <laughs> Memories of Dark Souls 2, I love that game. But, too bad. Also, I, I really don't like Scholar. Scholar the first time, not very good. But 1.0, Dark Souls 3 were the... See, everybody must test the wall. You got rid of me? Okay. Well then. I guess we'll go stick one by the... Uh, fog door of this right? But back when Trine of Mana, every projectile homed in on you from five miles away, and there was no easy way to dodge him. <laughs> and Dragon Trine, the, the Drake Keepers had 
super precise AI, so they just pretty much be a relentless piece our mastermind. The Mace Guy. Mace Guy is definitely the hardest enemy in the series overall. Base Mace Guy. Such a badass. <laughs> Like seven relentless attacks in a row that I'll almost kill you. Possible to dodge. Well, not impossible to dodge, but really hard to dodge. Obviously, you could just use Firestorm or whatever, but if you're actually trying to fight him, pretty scary. Might be kind of hard to spot this. Uh, I guess it wasn't that hard. For some reason I feel like I'm in a rush to do something, but I don't know why. Like, why would I want to end the stream quickly? Does it really feel that much like work, etc.? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I'm actually having a decent amount of fun, but my brain's still... going off in weird directions, alas. Because I'm still going to have a while left in the day after the stream's over, so... And I'll have to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do with that time. <laughs> uh, I still have to beat Invisible Ink. Or not beat it, but Platinum Trophy. But apart from that... Dog is everywhere. Much doge, such wow. It does kind of have some cool textures. I mean, weapon is first, but it just doesn't get much chance to use them, and he always dies before the great wolf gets anywhere. Oh, must have. Apparently, he's got spells. So we definitely should do it. Either give them the grave tender a lot more health, or made the grave wolf come in faster. Even right at the start of the fight, that probably would have been a really tough fight. But people would have appreciated more. That's all they had to adjust. Or like once you kill all three wolves, for instance. But yeah. It's not a turn. And the uh, place where you fight him is super awesome, so. Either way. <laughs> 